it's populated by an immense array of bird life. And many species found nowhere else in the world. Among them, some of the most flamboyant, ear splitting, and bizarre birds imaginable. Successful breeding is critical to the survival of their species. They need to go to exceptional lengths to find mates and raise their young, giving the next generation the best chance of life. This is the story of breeding season. Australia is a paradise. There are more than 800 species of birds here. And over 370 of these are only found in Australia. But birds of a different feather don't always flock together. Some prefer to live in the rainforest, like the golden bowerbird who builds his U-shaped nest from twigs in the hope of attracting a female. The galar is part of the cockatoo family and can be found in open country across mainland Australia. Some, like the Cape Barren Goose, thrive by the seaside and can drink salt water. And many share their environment with humans. Wherever they live, these birds have got their work cut out, holding their territory against invaders, attracting and winning partners, and safeguarding their chicks. And one stretch is named the Cassowary Coast. Because it's home to one of the planet's most extraordinary looking birds, the cassowary. This is a mature female. becomes steamier and more tropical as you head further north towards the equator. And its lush rainforests are ideal habitat for the cassowary, which thrives on forest fruits. Like the Australian emu and African ostrich, she's a ratite or flightless bird. Her flat breastbone has no keel attachment for wing muscles. It's thought that ratites evolved around 60 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. And she certainly looks prehistoric. She's solitary and usually wary of humans and can be hard to find in the forest. And she's huge. Over two meters tall, and weighing more than 45 kilos, like all female cassowaries, she's bigger and heavier than a male, as well as more brightly colored. In the dark, dense foliage of the jungle, the shock of electric blue on her throat, vivid turquoise around her head and eyes, and dramatic red wattle, all clearly identify her as a mature breeding female. Comparatively little is known about this species. There are several theories about the purpose of the curious crest on her head, called a cask. 
Although it looks hard and horn-like, it's actually leathery and pliable, formed by a keratin shell growing over spongy cranial bones and enclosing a mysterious... Cassowaries are omnivores and feed on fruit, beetles, insects, snails, and even carrion. One theory is that the cask helps them forage and serves as a helmet as they dig through dense undergrowth. It may also protect the head from falling fruit, be used as a sound amplifier, or even a weapon in disputes. The cask continues to grow for life and could also advertise a bird's status and age. Like the cassowary herself, the cask remains steeped in mystery.